Hi, we're the Hooters girls from Palm Beach. Come in and have some wings. Please enjoy this next video from US Classic Muscle Car. Hi guys, please enjoy the next video for US Classic Muscle Cars. <laughs> Welcome to Hooters Car Show. Okay, my name is Jim and I'm here with my 1969 Chevelle SS396. It is uh, period correct in every way. The color is tuxedo black. It came from the factory as you would see it. This car was produced in June of 1969 <clears throat> and then was bought by a gentleman in Glen Burnie, Maryland in July. It disappeared until 2013 when it surfaced in Washington State where the gentleman that bought it restored it. I have owned the car for a little over uh, a year and have done some engine work and some lighting and electrical and air conditioning work which I'll describe when we open up the cavity. Okay. I think the, the best showy part of the car is the paint job. Right. It looks uh, like you could just dive right into it. Yeah, it's, it's an absolute beautiful paint job. Very, very deep. Very deep. No blinds. The car, uh, as I say, is period correct. It was uh, originally produced as a 325 horsepower 396, and the restorer boarded out to a 375. So it has L78 spec engines, transmission, and rear end. It's got a 373 rear end in it. And what made you look for this car? Well, I've always liked Chevelles. Uh, my roommate in college had one, and I was very anxious to uh, try to find one. I looked for a 1970, and I couldn't find one that I wanted that looked as good as this. And when I saw the 69, I just fell in love with it. In 1969, there were t uh, roughly 286,000 of these cars produced, and in the SS model, as you see here, 86,000 of them were SS cars. This car came original equipment, as you'll see, with a wooden sport steering wheel, and there were only 7,000 of those cars produced in that year. So it's, it's not totally rare, but it's not something that you'd find uh, every day as what either. Uh, the tires are uh, period correct again, but rather than 14 inch tires, they are 15 inch tires. Other than that, they're the same as they would have been originally on the, on the car. The interior was uh, all brand new. It is a full frame off restoration. So the interior is new, the undercarriage has been reconditioned, painted. There's no bondo on the car, it's purely all steel sheet metal. And as you can see by the way the paint takes to it, uh, it's just perfect. There you go. There Absolutely you go. perfect. Now, do you, uh, you get a chance to drive it? And... I do. I drive it every week uh, and usually run errands in it or take it out to shows like this. And uh, as somebody once said to me, if you don't drive it, somebody else will, the next person that owns it. So, right, right. so I drive it. It gets a whopping nine miles to the gallon, That's but good. you don't buy it for the mileage. Right, right. That's it. Now, can we take a look at the engine now? Absolutely. Let me hand this to sure, you. Sure. Okay. When the car uh, was originally produced, it was produced with chrome headers just like this and the chrome air cleaner. All of that was stocked with which what was called the SS package. Back in the day, that SS package cost about $350. It included the wheels, uh, the chrome headers, the air chromed air conditioner, and the SS medallions. Right. And that was uh, what you got for the SS package. Uh, when they produced these, they produced them all as Malibus, and then within the Malibu uh, family, there were Chevelles, uh, there were Deluxe 300s, four doors, two doors, and then the SS. And as I say, in the SS model trim, there were a total of 86,000 produced that year. You know your car. You know your car. That's great. So the uh, so what did you have before this, or what were you? Well, I was thinking? I was driving a 2013 Porsche Carrera. Oh, okay. Which uh, I kind of got my fill of that, and the next car on the bucket list was a mu muscle car. So I sold the Porsche and decided to get a muscle car. So that's great. And that's I also uh, a lifelong uh, 55 
year rider of motorcycles. So, oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. So. Wow. Wow. That's a keep active and keep you know, active. Yep. But it's a great. Uh, I added a. Uh, this is a vintage air. It's a custom made air conditioning kit. They bury the hoses underneath the fender walls. So it would look exactly like the original air conditioning, but it's a modern day air compressor and a modern day air conditioner. There you go. Now the, uh, did you mention the horsepower on this? Horsepower is 375 horse. It actually, that's what its nameplate is, but the actual horsepower is more like 425. Okay. Now do you ever get a chance to uh, step on it? Uh, occasionally, okay. but I haven't, I haven't taken it and dragged it or anything right. like that. I just don't do that. but. I've probably had it up over 85, 90 miles an hour, sure, but sure. it's meant to go fast and go straight. Uh -huh. the, the suspension is nothing like you'd have in a modern day car. So right. It's right. not meant for turning and curving, it's meant for going fast and going straight. Wow. Wow. But it's a fun car, beautiful car. Right. Right. And in 1969, there were more uh, Chevelles sold than any other muscle car. Oh, really? It was the most popular muscle car. Part of that reason was because uh, Chevrolet was an affordable car. Okay. okay. And then, uh, did you, you you won a trophy today? Is that correct? I did. Best in class, 67 to 69. Yes. I've had it in four shows, and it's won a trophy each time. Awesome. Yeah. One of the trophies was best in show, and the other three have been best in class. So it it shows well. That's always a vindication. Why don't we finish up and say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the ride. I hope someday you get to experience what I have. They're a lot of fun. Thank you. Well